Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Slay the Spire. I apologize, I'm a little hoarse. I've been gargling. I've been taking lozenges. I've been drinking NyQuil. I've been huffing on a chimney for six weeks. Why is that voice okay? But my normal voice is not okay. I might be speaking to you a little bit more softly today. I'm a little under the weather, but I wanted to get back into Slay the Spire today because there's new content. You may leave, Tomo. Goodbye. My blessed son. Um, there's new content. There's a fourth act. So you can see our ascension levels here. Obviously. Um, but there's a fourth act. The way that you unlock the fourth act is you gotta beat one run with every character, which I've done. You might be like, you gotta do it since the patch. I know, I've done it. Don't you worry your pretty little head. We're gonna get you home to Tyson in your cozy tiger bed. Then, so we're just not gonna do Ascension here cause it's, uh, you know, probably a little overkill. Um, excuse me, right, no, this is correct. It's my first time doing this. Your safety is not guaranteed. We need to get three keys by the end of the third act. We get keys by resting, but choosing not to rest and instead get a key, or fighting elites. So let's start here and we'll see if we can see new content. We'll go back to Ascension. Obviously, you can also do Ascension through to the fourth act. But uh, for now... I want to do it on Ascension Zero, because it's also been a little while since I played Slay the Spire, and my skills have regressed. I will... Lose 8 max HP and choose a rare card to obtain. It's new art! Or no, it's the, uh, it's beta art. If you'll excuse me. No, thank you. I think a Reaper is really good. It's not that good early. I'm gonna, I have a new resolution, by the way. I'm gonna take a little longer to make decisions in Slay the Spire. I think that's my number one problem, my number one complaint, so I'm gonna work on it. Immolate is so good early, but we need like a true grit to work with it. I think I'm gonna go Reaper to start with. Immolate's close though. I think it's close. So I've been in a little Slay the Spire slump, but it's only a slump for you guys. Because those episodes were recorded oh so long ago. <laughs> My Slay the Spire backlog is absurd. Is what I'm trying to get at. And I've played a bunch since then. Uh, with the help of uh, Twitch chat a little bit. And I think I've gotten slightly better. I really don't want to get hit again here. but I've recognized I've been removing too many cards from my deck. We'll still hit you. Uh, too early. Particularly, if you remove two strikes early, I r really, really wanted to see a Reaper there. If you remove two strikes from your deck early, you do start to run into trouble, because you, you just end up being anemic. So I'm going to take an Armaments first out of all these. I think we just play this. Uh, but it only heals us for two, so instead maybe I'd rather do that. So far, we got nothing to complain about. You know, it's, it's a regular... It, it should be easy. Just a regular old... Ascension Zero. Default Slay the Spire. You know, what is this? January 2018. This should not be something that's particularly difficult on average. So let's think logically. Feel no pain whenever a card's exhausted. Gain three block. We only have... Reaper that exhausts right now, but in the future this could be good. Heavy Blade is a great card, I think, if we can build towards strength, but I'd rather take it later. Flame Barrier... I think Flame Barrier is pretty great. I think I would be willing to take Flame Barrier. But we have a lot of two-cost cards. I think I'm gonna add it anyway. What I'm learning, I think, is... Uh, Oh, we'll definitely remove a card. And this time, uh, we'll pull a defend, actually, because we've already added two extra defend cards. And then we go here. I do have to look. Um, I do like cleave, just for giving us the ability to kill enemies faster. 
Particularly, like, I'm really worried about the waves that have multiple enemies that don't do that much damage, but all apply weakness. So I think I will take a cleave. And I can still remove one card after that. I'll remove a strike. Okay. So I, I had almost, almost, almost... That's a neutral face. Recall. Obtain the ruby key. I have almost gotten the keys to the kingdom for Ascension specifically. I think we need to kill you quickly. Let's do it like that. I have started removing a lot of cards, as I'm sure you've seen for yourself. My problem is that I don't add enough cards anymore. I like... People at first were like, hey, stop adding so many cards to your deck. So I stopped. Then they're like, hey, start removing strikes. So I started removing strikes. I don't think we need any of these yet. I was missing the next piece. Oh, we need to rest once per floor. I see. I was missing the next piece. The next piece is make sure that you're also adding good cards. Not just... Um, I will, I will take the Sapphire key. Okay. You see, I've, I've never done this before. But I'm very happy with where we're at. So now I'm like, first floor, if you can remove a strike and a defend, and add some versions of those that are basically strictly better, I think you're gonna have a good time. I think you're gonna enjoy your life. Can I kill you? Probably not, so let's just play that. Uh, this, uh, no, upgraded strike does do more damage. You will be toast, I think. This deck is working just fine. I do worry a little bit about a lack of killing power. Battle Trance, I think having one of those in, like, every deck is just fine. I think, like, offensively we're a little weak right now, but, uh, hopefully we can get there. Man, really? It's a little weak. It's okay, though. So yeah, I'm happy to be playing Slay the Spire, happy to be back. Basically, since I came back from uh, TwitchCon, I've just been recording a bunch of Isaac. My Slay the Spire backlog, I'm embarrassed to admit it. Thank God the new content came out relatively close to the end of TwitchCon. I don't think we need anything here. I do want to fight one elite. Uh, because... You know, it was long. I love playing this game. I had to stop myself from playing so much of it. Purity Pummel. Um, I honestly think I would take Purity. I respect it more now. You know, we draw it and we would exhaust, you know, two strikes and a defend, two defends and a strike, depending on what we draw. Bash. Demon Form. I would take Demon Form. Let's put our money where our mouth is. It's a good card to get early. We can build around it. Don't want to take that accidentally. Yes, okay. I will take both. Alright, let's see if I've truly ascend- uh, pardon me, voice does not work. If I've truly ascended to galaxy brain levels. We want demon form turn one. We want demon form turn two. Hey, You might as well. Is there anything else worth playing? Yes, battle trance, and then uh, play purity. Honestly, get rid of your strike. Then that's it. I think that's okay. I thought about getting rid of Bash as well, but... Now this turn we want to hit. Uh, we can hit. Not for as much as I would like, maybe, but we can hit. I'm not really super concerned uh, about what we'd get for Relics here. I was hoping for a Flame Strike. Uh, instead, I'm going to hit you with the Bash. Not Flame Strike, sorry. Flame Barrier. Two different games. Uh, I know you only have one more turn of vulnerability. Dude, I mean, I got a Reaper you. Although if I Reaper you later, it'll be worth more, even though you're vulnerable right now. Let's block almost all of this, and then smack you pretty good. So we'll draw. No Reaper, which is perfect. I will bash, and then I will cleave. It killed you! I got too strong too fast, my mistake. Clothesline, I mean, it's a good attack. It applies weakness. I, I'm starting, well, let, let's see who we're fighting. I actually think Clothesline is a good pickup to fight this boss because we have nothing else that applies weakness, and we would really like to apply weakness. 
because he does like you know seven times six six times six three times six you know his attacks are like that dark embrace we only have i mean we do have some exhausted cards but we don't have like a, a theme of bringing them back playing them again so i think it's low value flex I like it, but I like it like a 6.5 out of 10. I think we're better off with the clothesline specifically because of the boss we're fighting. Uh, and we will upgrade. Do you start doing 3 week? You do. That's enough to get it around on a cycle with Battle Trance and Purity taking out worse cards, I think. So, we'll see how it goes here. Alright, first turn clothesline is really good. Obviously, we want Demon Form. We're going to clothesline, cleave, and then we're going to get rid of... Let's just get rid of two strikes. I'm a little scared about getting rid of three. So you should do less damage next turn. Only 18. Not that bad. We'll play Demon Form because we, you know, want to. And we win. Yes, our HP is a little lower than I'd like. But we, we have won, believe it or not. Might not look like it yet. But as long as we can keep stacking weakness... Yeah, this is fine. <clears throat> All we need to do to win is play Reaper eventually. It doesn't even have to happen right now. So I just gotta think, this is 12 damage and we take none. Oh, we can do way more, so we'll just do that. That If we play Reaper in like two turns, we'll probably heal for 20 or 30. Especially if they're vulnerable. So we have to keep you weak in my opinion, and we'll play this, we'll still take one damage, but that's okay. 17 out of Reaper. <clears throat> Honestly, I would... I'm just gonna keep smacking you. We got you pretty good. And we got two-thirds of the key already. I don't know how we get the third-third of the key, but I have to imagine it's, uh... Basically... Just a product of going to more rests, or going to that flaming elite. Okay, so we're... Doing just fine on HP yet again. We will block for eight instead of playing armaments, which is a little unnecessary right now. We take two damage, and you're dead. Like, a strike will kill you, I'm sure. Easy money. The sick brain prevails. I think I'm happy with what we have. I do like a strength potion, but... Um, limit break seems like the right call. Brutality we have no synergies with, but it is like a ring of the snake that you pay for. Bludgeon, I think bludgeon is fine. I'm starting to come around on it. But an upgraded limit break really accelerates demon form. So we'll, we'll go with that. And... Uh, no, I mean, we have expensive cards. I don't think we need Sneko. To me, this looks like Eternal Feather. It allows us to take a key. It allows us to smith. We're only going to heal for 15 when we go to rest sites, but maybe that's okay. I want to discard my hand, I think. But I know that with some decks, Runic pops off. I can't... I don't know which ones. <laughs> But I know with some decks it pops off. Okay. So far, so good. Is there a Flaming Elite? I, I've never seen one. I want to see... Oh, there is. Okay, so we'll try to fight them because that, that's the third key. I don't know if there's other means to get the third key. Battle Trance. 20 damage. We'll block almost all of it. And then throw out a Cleave, I think. It's the great thing about having Burning Blood is we can afford to take damage. Let me hydrate a little here. <clears throat> So we're going to take a lot more damage. It's okay, though. That's what the Blood Potion is for. That's what Reaper is for. I will say... You know, I, I, like I would like to play Demon Form, it's just way too late. So I think we play, sadly, Reaper, and then a Strike, and then just Purity. We probably could have Purity Demon Form as well, just because we're not going to play it. But at least we saved some of our money, but we did take a lot of damage in the process. Like, there's no way I get you, right? There's no way I get you. I'm just gonna take the blood potion. Pass turn. You get to steal a little bit of money. Congratulations. More power to you. Entropic brew. I'm glad I used the potion, honestly. Um, whenever you play an attack this turn, gain three block. Flex, of course, and then Rupture. We don't have anything that triggers Rupture, so it would really be like Rage. I don't think we need it, but I am torn. I'll admit I'm torn on that one. Potion belt 
is kind of a slap in the face, I think, but I'm open to being proved wrong. Uh, give me an armaments, then a flame barrier, and we're gonna purity, strike, strike, defend. So even though our deck is a little thick, like 17 cards is probably more than we would otherwise like to have right now. Purity essentially makes it a 14 card deck. That's the way I choose to see it at least. You know, I still think, um, like I will play a limit break. Just to get our strength up. I'm not going to play Reaper yet. I think it's just substantially more advantageous for us later. Like, particularly if I could draw it, like, right now. That'd be super cool. Yeah! I'm gonna start here, though. I'm looking at it, and I'm like, surely I have you next turn. How do I not do 20 damage to you next turn? I do do 20 damage to you next turn. So, Rage again. Thunderclap, I do like for vulnerability, but I don't think we need it. Perfected Strike is not the deck for it. We haven't built around it from the get-go. So, I mean, Rage keeps showing up and tempting me, but... I'm unconvinced as of the present moment. I think I would rather uh, Strike strike Cleave than, than get a Bash out here. We really want to make that Demon Form show up faster. That's our real problem right now. Um... Should really use this later, but I, you know, okay, let's do it. This being free is huge. Now you're doing 10 damage. I don't need to use a block potion, but I think I'm gonna. And then I'm actually just gonna exhaust those two. Might be a little galaxy brain in the worst way possible, but I think I, I respect it. So here, normally you'd be like, Demon Form, start working on this guy. And I do need to play Demon Form. It's like our win condition. But simultaneously, I'm like, you know, give me enough block to start hurting this guy. And then, I don't know, I hope we draw it soon after that, I guess. This guy, I'm not going to say he hard counters us. It's just the, the way that we drew the cards is not ideal. So we are going to take some hits here. Um, I think we have to play Demon Form. It, it pains me a great deal. So maybe we should have played it earlier, but... Now... All we do is wait. And we actually don't get too despondent, you know? Like, I should remember. It's actually not that bad. All I, I had extra energy. No, one of the cards was costing zero. That's right. All I have to do is wait for a good Reaper. And that's kind of, like, exactly where we're at right now. Although, it won't kill you. 42 damage. This does 39. But you know what it will do? Check this out. Cleave. Reaper. Thorns Potion. We are going to take 10, but he'll die on the first hit. I definitely feel like that could have gone better. This is... Thank you. Thank you for not... Uh, so here's the thing. I really want Purity as early as possible. We can't draw because of the Battle Trance. Okay, again, slow it down. I actually think, like, if anything... Uh, I've been doing pretty well on being more methodical here. But things are starting... I wouldn't say they're starting to slip away yet, but they're getting a little wonky. I think it's fair. So we're about to take 9 damage. 10 damage. I think I want to... Yeah, this is easy. Weaken you. We're going to take another 10. We're waiting on Reaper. Now, I'm also... Uh, believe it or not... No, you just kill him. 
It won't kill him this turn, it'll kill him next turn, but still. In my head, I was like, why don't we just wait for like a 70 HP Reaper? Well, we could have, but why not take the, you know, bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. I do think, uh, we're, we're running low on blocks. We've added two blocks, we have five out of 17 total in the deck. I think Ghostly Armor would fit. Normally, I would not make that decision, so I'm proud of myself. I will say, right off the bat, Sneko Eye could potentially be awesome for us. Yeah, a zero-cost demon form is pretty much exactly what I had in mind. Um, we'll play Ghostly Armor and Clothesline. We'll take one damage. It's irrelevant. Uh, what we want... I still think we want a Purity. We want a Purity these because they cost... One. So they're unlikely to be good value most of the time. I would still rather block for six. This is a fight where if we get lucky, especially with our blocks, um, we can play a Reaper later for like a staggering amount of damage. That's my hope and dream. For now, I think we just do this. We're unlikely to one hit him with the, or one shot him with the Reaper, so. You know, this is fine. Honestly. I understand the value of the limit break, but kind of trying to play both sides here, for better or for worse. All we're doing is biding our time until Reaper comes back around. There it is. 20 damage. Never mind. 35 damage. And we're back. Could have done that in a different order. I don't think we need another clothesline. Shockwave is pretty tempting. But it is expensive. But I, you know, I think it's probably worth it. I think we need something like that. Or would like it, at least. So at this point, um, I do think... It's tough. I think we can afford to remove one more strike. It's not really part of our win condition. I'm still, like, we have to find a way... To get demon form into our hand as quickly as possible. Our damage, like the damage we take, scales infinitely. Purity? No purity. Uh, with the, um, the number of turns it takes for us to draw that card, basically. Um, so don't kill me would be like the first thing I would say here. Ideally. Don't, I'm not exhausting these defends yet. Because he's going to summon uh, more boys, and that's good. What we want is for Reaper to exist. So that we, especially if we can get like Limit Break Reaper. So we're just going to hit you pretty hard. We should have used our cleave, I think. Surely. You can't make this stuff up. The one, or the two cards we wanted are the two cards at the very bottom of our deck. Okay, well, what do we have coming in here? We know for two energy we can take off eight damage, but that's not that much. For two energy we can also take off 12 damage. We know we also can get brought back to life. Can we kill you? Unlikely. So you're doing 33 plus 8, 41 damage. We can definitely stay alive, for the record. I'm actually, you're going to think that I've lost my mind. But I think, four, you hit for four. 10% of our HP is seven. It really depends what order things happen. If it goes left to right, and I, this is where the one of the few times it would actually matter. Because, it, it, work with me. We go to 24, we go to 20 and weak probably, and then, no, that would still kill us. Okay, so we need to wipe out one enemy at least. Possibly two. Or, hear me out here. Takes us to 40. And then wipe out the one dealing a status effect. Because with Reaper and Limit Break, I think we're going to heal for like 50 next turn. We get to keep the Fairy in a Jar as well. So something like this. 61. Originally I thought 50 might be a bit of an exaggeration, but... 
So that went well, strangely enough. Bag of prep is awesome. Then we get the emerald key as well. So I think we have unlocked the fourth act. I have to note, I have never seen the fourth act. I have to wonder about burning pact here. With only three energy, it strikes me as kind of bad right now. But the ability to exhaust our basic cards and draw in return seems great. But I think for now, because I don't get any kind of relic-based synergy out of it, I'll stay away. But with the knowledge that in the future, I might love it a great deal. So we're probably going to... I don't know, maybe we'll avoid elites for a while. I'm not sure. So first things first. Limit Break needs to be upgraded. I really don't want to fight two elites in a row. Like, things are they are tricky enough right here. Um... We don't need to play in armaments. We'll lose ghostly armor, but I've come to see that as not always a negative. Here's the thing. I'm, I'm learning. Again, I'm a little out of practice in Slay the Spire, so I hope you'll bear with me. But I feel pretty good about the way it's gone so far. Um, if we play demon form, we will take damage. However, it doesn't matter... Yeah, do this. It doesn't matter. Because then we can play Reaper later and get all the damage back. It is a little bit playing with fire. I do want to see... Oh, I can kill you. So I will do that. I, I can't get too much off of this guy. Maximum HP I can get off him is 20. But... And, like... I do hate fighting this guy, but... It is what it is. It's weird. I, I'm not sure what we need to make this run work. Or Calcum would help. Anchor would help. Again, the longer the strength ticks up, the better it is for me. We're just waiting on Reaper. But if I have to kill you in advance of that, that's fine. I can't kill you in advance of that. You're going to do 20 damage. But we're very likely to draw Limit Break Reaper. In fact, we're guaranteed to draw Limit Break Reaper. So I think... Uh, I mean, I'll hit you for 32 just to get your block close. And I'll block for 3. We're about to heal for a lot, though. If only we could armaments as well, but... So, limit break. <clears throat> we only healed for 20, but that's something. I still don't think we want anything here, but I might be mistaken. This is another fight for which we're very happy to have weakness. We do need to play Demon Form early. Uh, I don't want to play Battle Trance because we might draw Limit Break. And I'd rather not draw Limit Break when we have zero energy. So Shockwave uh, strikes me as very good. We can only play one card. I think we want Shockwave. And you know, I think we can afford to dump Bash. So we do take 15 damage. That sucks. We get a few turns to work with, though. Limit Break for certain. Ghostly Armor. Block. Turns play itself. We take another 5 damage. The whole point in this is, is one super good Reaper eventually. And I think we should probably not attack. Battle Trance is still here. We got a pretty good chance to draw a Reaper. So I'll just armaments to upgrade our existing cards. We did draw a Reaper. Limit Break? No, Limit Break. Okay. So Reaper is only 16. That's not actually that much damage. You're not going to die. You're going to live with 1 HP. So I guess I'm going to take 8 after that. So I'm a little bit disappointed with the way this went down. We, theoretically, we could have tried to stall for a few more turns, I guess. But if only, again, if we'd gotten Limit Break, could have changed everything. We can't draw Reaper again, but we might as well see what we get. And Ice him. Still doing okay. We don't need another Armaments. Pummel absolutely does work. It just sucks early. Um, but I think... I think it's worth taking at this point. I'm kind of, I'm coming close to the opinion that I need some kind of extra killing power. I think I will rest just to be safer as we head to our second boss here. You can't complain too much. You always want to play Demon Form first. Again, it opens up that healing for full HP later. 
Limit break, please. No limit break. Okay. Um, so I will armaments, flame barrier. But then I am going to exhaust three, uh, two strikes and a defend. Just to make the deck much thinner. There might have been two defends and a strike now that I think about it. Um, I think you... 20, it's not going to kill you. So I think we'll shockwave you just to keep you weak. And then pummel is not going to kill you, but it's going to get you close. And this is kind of what we want. Even with the heal, because it means Reaper is coming around later. Nobody's attacking. That's great news. Limit break Reaper, of course. Reaper will, I mean, it's going to heal us for like 60. So we don't have to use it here, but I'm going to. We could have waited and tried to get more than full value. I wouldn't recommend it, though. That seems highly dumb. That's an old Northern Lion move. With our lack of block, I do look at Metallicize as potentially tempting, but I don't think it's necessary right now. Dude, we need to go to a shop. We got 600 freaking gold. So, uh, lots of stuff I want to upgrade, actually. Um... Shockwave is the big one, showing up early. Battle Trance gives us more cards. Pummel uh, does one extra, I mean, that could be like an extra 10 damage in theory, which is pretty good, but I think right off the bat, Shockwave is a little bit more tempting. So what we hope for is early demon form, and we got it. That's all you need to know. So we will probably win now. This turn is set up. I do think we'll probably uh, pop the Dex Potion. And we will pop Ghostly Armor. And, uh... You know what? We'll, we'll take some damage here. We'll pop Limit Break. And then we'll use Purity on two strikes and then a Defend. Because we got enough gas in this deck now. You've taken Flame Barrier. You've taken Cleave. Not that bad. So, the most important thing. Absolutely no need to play Reaper anytime soon. Armaments is tempting, admittedly. Straight up, I believe we start working on his artifacts. My thinking is, once I get it, I mean, I need to kill you to get Cleave back. But Cleave or Reaper is going to kill all of you. So I don't really need to worry about doing damage to you just yet. So let's go up to uh, 24 strength. We've got two energy left. We could do 28 to all enemies. That would be highly stupid. Um, Shockwave is fine. Honestly... I mean, Pummel is just worth so much. But I still think I'm going to use it to get Cleave back, just to hit right here. Um, Pummel, theoretically, could have been like one tap this boss in a few turns, but I'm completely fine with where we're at here. Limit Break makes us... I mean, I don't necessarily want to say unkillable. I think it's inviting a certain kind of evil into your life, but... I mean, we're going to get hit for 51, which is a ton. But after he hits us, we'll just wait till we draw Reaper and destroy him. So I think, uh... I mean, you could cleave Ghostly Armor. I think I'd rather hit him for 74 and start working through the, the artifacts a little bit more. We are coming close to death on the regular, admittedly. It's a bit scary. So we really would like to draw Reaper. We probably don't have to, but I'm happy to have done so. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Do we need a second Reaper? I think the answer is yes. Even though we're going to dead draw it way more often, I think this will help make sure we don't have to use this potion or alternatively die. Um, we definitely want to get more energy that's playing demon form and a block in one turn is so good um i think we're gonna go with busted crown i think our deck is we don't need to add anything else to this deck for it to pop this boss is not a hard counter to us so we love that and let's uh let's hit this shop right here if possible i think we've gotten enough value out of ma bank okay so obviously demon form Following that, it's either a strike or a cleave, and I think you can probably do the math on that one. And we'll just dump Bash and Basic Strike, because I think Bash has overstayed its welcome.
I think we don't want to draw yet. Strange as it may be. No, because we have three energy, we can draw. And if we draw Limit Break, which didn't happen but could have, um, that would have been fine. 16, so 23 plus 16, 39 damage. Uh, honestly, go ahead and hit me for 10. That's nothing. You guys are all going to get hit a lot. And when Reaper and Limit Break come around, you're in trouble. So I think you probably start here. There's a very reasonable chance we'll draw a limit break on our next turn. Or sorry, Reaper is what I meant to say. Um, I mean, a Cleave Reaper, it's got to kill you, right? I feel so comfortable right now. This is the most painful decision I've ever had to make. I do think we could do with one more block. So, you know, I don't do that lightly, but I'm okay with that. Okay, so we really want Demon Form turn one. If we don't get that, we try to draw. Um, I think uh, Purity, Strike, Strike, Defend come out of the deck. Flame Barrier. Why not? Well, yeah, no, there is, there's a good why not there. I don't even want to play Pummel yet. It's just... It, the reason we play uh, Flame Barrier is because we have no better attacks to play. We're just holding Pummel to use it for better purposes later. Demon Form, please. No Demon Form, but at least we're exhausting that. Um, I'd like you to get out. Lack of Demon Form causing me a lot of problems. We are going to get hit here, but it doesn't matter. Honestly, once you play Demon Form, if you're not at risk of death... You know, your, your Reapers are going to bring you back. Your Limit Breaks are going to bring you back. So we just play our hand here. Six strength up. Uh, Cleave will hit us for 14. So we actually don't just play our hand. Blocks, please. Thank you. Thank you. This is fine. Keeping in mind, we're coming pretty close to the point where a little bit of... Like a single Reaper will definitely kill both of these guys. Is what I'm trying to get at, I suppose. Especially with vulnerability associated. We just need to be able to put the block up as well. Um, like a Cleave will do it here, but we need some extra block. Uh, Shrug is pretty good. That's pretty good. So we're 21. Cleave will just kill you both. Dude, this deck is very good. There were some times it looked a little spotty, but not for long, man. So this is a very bad first draw. We will still do that. And this guy is kind of a hard counter to us for the extra damage he does to us every turn. No demon form yet is very... I'm extremely sad. Uh, so a shockwave is tempting, but I, I like to upgrade everything. I like to flame barrier if you don't mind, and uh, 32 means we take no damage this turn, we do 6 damage in return, but we're really, I can't believe it, our final card is Demon Form, so uh, we'll definitely, this, uh, I think we'll always Purity Bash, like, if we can get other value out of it, even better, but we are going to take some damage. Alright, so here's where the fun starts, hopefully. Demon Form, Ghostly Armor, this turn, not so fun. This starting to get fun. So, limit break. Reaper only heals us for 11. I don't even get out of bed for less than 30 at this point in my life. 16, we're taking 22 damage. There you go. Just minimizing our damage taken so Reaper is more valuable later. Pummel is starting to get pretty good. Now we don't want to hit him anymore. Because Reaper will end his life. It would be nice if we could get a limit break along with it. <laughs> Alright, so we are going to take 21 damage here. That's actually more than I thought we would take. I think we want to... We'll heal for 34. If we Reaper... Sorry, Shockwave then Reaper. Yeah, so we're at full HP. Nothing to worry about. Nah, even an upgraded flex. I don't think it's necessary right now. Now, I want to point out, that was our worst-case scenario. I just want to see, is anybody killable? No. No. Um, 
we drew, I mean, Demon Form was literally the bottom card in our deck, and once we got it, we were set. It was a little bit spottier, admittedly. Can't draw, that's fine. Kind of dealing with a similar situation here. Uh, we're only taking nine, so I think we can afford to apply the status effects, and then also maybe try to hit you before you explode. You have to die. You, on the other hand, are just highly annoying. So Demon Form, I get, it's not at the bottom of our deck necessarily. We do have a, a lot of dazes. This is a hilarious turn. Okay. Um... Hit me for five. Oh, like now that we play Demon Form, it just it literally does not matter. Like you will be killed. Might take a bit. I don't care if I take eight damage. This ain't a daily challenge. If we don't perfect it, who cares? I would thank God we've taken the repulsors out. This is the first time I think in my whole Slay Aspire career I've ever found the repulsors even the slightest bit annoying. Um, I don't even think it's worth playing a Reaper yet. You know, the, the strength of these guys... Uh... You know... You probably don't need that armaments anymore. The strength of these guys is that they make the fight go on long. You know, it's a war of attrition. However, the longer the fight goes on, the stronger I get. Now I have 30 strength. What we want is a situation where we can kill you in one hit with a Reaper and put up almost enough block. We're going to take one, which means we heal the full. Uh, Twin Strike is tempting, but at this point, the deck is is so clearly works, and I'm so thankful I have Demon Form early, but um, it so clearly works, I don't think we need to worry about it. And even here, like, I think I'm totally okay taking 20 damage. 30 damage, or I guess it would be 20 damage. That being said, why take it if we could just throw a potion and not have to deal with it? But I still think Reaper Limit Break would get us there. Thank God we drew Demon Form early, I will say that. We should have bashed you first there, that's a that's a very me mistake. It's 14. I'm gonna bash you even though we'll take damage on this turn. It makes us less likely to take damage next turn because of the vulnerability that you have. So probably you would pummel. Makes life extremely simple. And then, uh... Just thin the deck out enough that maybe... You know, I think we'll still Reaper you once, but... Uh, that maybe the other Reaper can come around in time. And it did, but we don't need it yet. So we got two turns. I think we'll make you vulnerable to make life easier in the future. And then... You know, I don't really care if you hit me for six, that's the exact amount that makes my life, uh, totally easy and acceptable here. And, uh, unfortunately, your next turn sucks real bad for me, so... Not anymore. <laughs> Did cost us a potion? Oh well. No, not even close. Finally, a shop. Uh, what do we like? I, well, let's, let's think about it. Unceasing top. I think we definitely do want Incense Burner. Um, does Unceasing Top do things for us? Rarely. That doesn't mean it's bad, but I think rarely it does things for us. I think I can afford to remove... Probably a Strike. Still tons of gold. We have another shop. We keep him, Oh, we do have another shop. I think I'll call it there. I don't really like the other things in the shop too much. This guy doesn't put statuses in our deck. He puts voids, but... Yeah, I don't think we need another shrug or anything like that. So right now, I think this is fine. Hopefully, what I want from the rest of this floor is good opportunities to level up, like, as much as possible. Or, like, smith our cards, I should say. So, pummel getting a little better. Eh. Purity exhausting more cards is rarely relevant. Let's make uh, Battle Trance draw more, but... None of these are mission critical, I think. 
Kaka, indeed. I will try to draw a demon form. I will shockwave all of you. You're doing 17 damage. Uh, you know what? Why take damage on... Well, why take too much damage on turn one? Let's upgrade every card. <clears throat> okay. It's not where we want to be, but it's not horrible. So Flame Barrier is like a must play. And then we probably cleave. Uh, and we're going to take seven damage. We'll purity into our defense. Keep in mind, I mean, it's been a long run so far. We've been playing a little slower, which is what we want to do. And then we have the fourth act following this. So I, at that point, I have no idea what happens at all. Sorry, Ghostly Armor. I really can't stress enough. If you don't know what you're watching, all you need to do is wait for Demon Form. If it's like a sports game. When Demon Form comes onto the field, you cheer. Because that means we're very likely to win. Like, even here, our win condition is kind of playing Reaper. And we don't even... We didn't even have to play it there. So, like, things are going real well. A second fairy in a jar actually has me very excited. As does a true grid, which is a good upgrade target. Courier is probably a little too late. Demon form turn one, we win. I'm not trying to be needlessly cocky. I'm just calling it like I see it. So, uh, we'll play an armaments. And then, we'll purity a defend and a strike. Uh, and I think that's it. Not a good turn for our intangibility, but... So what? Honestly, go ahead and hit me for 25, or less because of the weakness, but... Limit Break is fine here. So is Ghostly Armor. Uh, I think you Pummel, which allows you to True Grit a Defend. Making our deck slightly better. Shockwave is really good to get out there. Goodbye, Ghostly Armor. Just keep this guy weak. He's weak for nine turns, which is hilarious. Now, we did draw a Reaper. We don't want it yet, I think. It's just, it's worth too much for us later. It's going to sound a little busted, but... Why not just thin our deck out, take no damage, get to the point where a single Reaper can kill him? You know, we're like, we're drawing almost our whole deck every single time here. Uh... I guess here, I will play Reaper. Just because he's dead next turn. Yeah, it's pretty comical. Definitely do not want a Wild Strike just yet. Ooh, what are you? I'm going to lose 90 gold. I'm going to remove a basic defend... And then it upgraded another defend. It's a pretty good value for 90 gold. This guy again, huh? No demon form turn one. You got me a little scared. We drew it though. So go ahead. I'm, I'm being sincere. Hit me for 19. It shouldn't matter much. Okay. Now we got to be a little careful. I do think if we're going to play Bash, we should just play Shockwave instead. So let's do that. Um, and you're doing 30 damage. Let's make that less. And then we're going to take out Bash, Defend, Ghostly Armor. Just because, uh, again, we want to make sure we're drawing our Reapers and our Limit Break as much as possible. Clothesline already gets you there. At this point, it almost gets you there, I should say. 45 damage. So I was going to say, the thing is, we don't want to draw both Reapers on the same turn. But uh, if we got to, we got to. Everything else here, nothing needs to be played. It's okay. So we got one turn left. You're vulnerable, so I think we're fine. We're totally fine. Nothing to worry about. Dude, this is like maybe the best deck I've ever constructed is the Ironclad. Which is a real surprise to me. Turns out, if you take an extra two friggin' seconds to think about what's happening, maybe your runs will go better. That's, to be fair, you know, I am also not on Ascension.
That's fine. I just, I, I wanted it to hit the defend. I wanted it not to hit Reaper. That was my number one concern. So Demon Form has to be played. We'll play Battle Trance, which is pre-upgraded. And uh, we don't really have anything we want a Purity here, to be honest. So let's just upgrade all of our cards. Yeah. I mean, this guy's probably going to hit us for 40 or whatever. 35. I'm not concerned about it. It's actually better this way. Because I'm pretty sure if we draw correctly... 13... I don't want to do this yet. Um, like, I could break you real easily. You put more slimes in my deck? You know what? I do think we actually Reaper here. I think I'm wrong. I think we interrupt him and then double our Reaper efficacy in the future. thought he was going to split. Yeah, the more enemies are on the screen, the better Reaper is. Limit break, please. No such luck, but still. Yes, yeah, so we just healed for 70, which we did not need to do. What I wouldn't give to just be able to attack one more time, but there you go. We're going to win this fight easily. We're going to get a rare relic. I think we have intangibility next turn. Not that it matters. You poor son of a gun. You're getting hit for like 200 damage. Shovel. Um, actually potentially relevant. Let's see. What do we like here? Uh, I think Molten Egg is way too late. Double Tap? There's something to that for sure. You know, Double Tap Reaper? I think we can definitely add that. Especially, it, we'll just upgrade it immediately. And then, Molten Egg's too late. Bag of Marbles? I don't think Bag of Marbles is that good for us. Because a lot of the time, we are... Uh, not doing much damage on turn one. So I think we do want Strange Spoon, believe it or not. Because it'll make our Reapers that much better. Uh, and I think we do want to remove a card. I think we can afford to, re uh, afford to remove another Strike. And then I'm gonna... I'm gonna take a... Block Potion. Just in case. And I'm actually gonna dump our dex potion and take a fruit juice potion as well all right i'm feeling real good here we're gonna smith upgrade our double tap uh true grit is also a great choice i think okay no draw turn one makes me very sad it's not a good turn for a double tap um we will play this we will play this we can't afford to true grit It's like an I also like to live dangerously sort of mode for us. So I think we just accept we take a little bit of damage. We don't want to exhaust a Reaper or a Pummel. Demon form 100% has to be played. We know we're going to take hits. That's life. Cleave's still worth playing. Uh, I will Purity Bash. Purity did exhaust. So now we should be fine. But, it, you know, it might get a little touchy. I can't say that it, that's false. You need to be weakened. Let's see. 20, 30, 38 damage. Not that big of a deal. Not yet. I'm happy these guys are still alive so that we can, you know, get that incredible, hopefully, uh, Reaper damage. I was looking for, like, a limit break. 27. So, we'll just kill you. And that kept Pummel in our deck, which is disgusting. I love it. We're going to take no damage. The longer we wait until we pop that first Reaper, the better it is, but also the more dangerous it feels. So that's a heal for 44. You're going to think I'm a fool, but I'm actually a genius. We'll live with 1 HP. Your life is a resource, baby. We're also intangible this turn, which is hilarious. Now, limit break, Reaper. We're at full HP. And Reaper didn't even exhaust. Who's the loser now, Mom? Who's the loser now? Uh, honestly, I would rather pummel, because you're basically dead, and it didn't even exhaust. We didn't get the full HP. We got close, just because this guy was weak to begin with. So don't play your other Reaper. That would be very foolish. 
Instead, just one-tap him with it later. So it's not gonna one-tap him, but it's pretty close. Uh, I have to think about this. Like, double-tap Pummel Reaper actually will definitely kill him. This deck is so good. There we go. A sudden burst of energy emanates from inside you, jolting you awake. The heart retreat up, retreats upwards. A large door is revealed in its place. This is what happens when you get all three uh, seals by beating, the, you know, once with each character. And then also, all three keys on the same run. I did not expect to make it here on run number one. Well, oh my god. <laughs> I didn't realize it was so uh, so sudden. Um, so there's True Grits. And then a shop. I wish I could do something here. But we did spend all our money on good things. We have an Elite. Ooh, what? Receive 50% more damage when attacked from behind. This is new. So, think carefully. Yeah, okay, that's fair. So you're actually doing 12. And if I switch to this way, you'll do 14. So we could do 26 or what's happening right now, which is 28. Doesn't matter that much. So I think a Shockwave is a pretty good get here early. Oh, they have Artifact. They're still vulnerable, though. Um, and then honestly, just like a Flame Barrier? I know we take damage in the process, but... Yeah, we could have done better. I didn't notice the Artifact. Fair enough. No demon form yet. Makes me very unhappy. Reaper is not very strong here early. Um, we definitely do not want to target, though. We don't want to target this guy, I should say. So you're going to hit me for sure. I think it's probably a good time for a bash. Or, sorry, for a block potion. Let's try something like that. Demon form? Demon form. Okay. Uh, we need to target as well. Yeah, limit break, not worth it. Pummel, super not worth it. There you go. Taking less damage. Keep in mind, we do have the fairy in a jar. How much do you gain? Two strength. It's not that bad. Intangibility is insanely good on this turn. Um, honestly, I'm just going to bash you, and then I will defend. want to keep that vulnerability high. We want to turn, so we have to do this. Still too much damage. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 47 and you're doing, uh, you're doing too much. So I will be killed, but I think Fairy in a Jar will bring me back. Yes. With 8 HP. That's all I need. <laughs> I can't turn, um, but I can defend. That hurts. If only it, if it had gone in the opposite order, uh, maybe I'd still be dead. So I died immediately upon reaching the fourth floor. But it was a great deck up to that point, and now we got a little sneak peek. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It was a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I will see you next time. See ya.